What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So per member request through a members only poll, uh, this was one of the two most voted on videos, so I gotta bring it to you guys. Today we're gonna be talking about what I believe to be 20 of the very best for summer this year. Now some of these are newer to the collection, some I've had for a little while, some are channel favorites, some are Middle Eastern, some are designer, etc, etc. There's a little bit of variety, but of course they're all very summer forward and fresh, and they're all, they can all be found for under $50 USD. Let's get into it. Starting with one that's very much in the same vein of Y Cell Y mixes with Invictus Aqua. It is now cheaper at the discounters. I did buy this for full retail at Macy's whenever it first came out. This is Jimmy Choo Man Aqua. So you'll see the notes of C notes and cardamom and some musk and I believe lavenders in there. There's aromatics of some sort. All believable. Because when you smell it, it smells exactly like the note breakdown would indicate. Cardamom here doesn't offer much of a warm spice, more so a fresh spice, very watery, citrusy, oceanic feel. Like I said, smells like a little bit of YSLY mixed with Invictus Aqua. If you're a fan of either of those fragrances, you'll probably enjoy this one. You can find this much cheaper than the $90 retail that I paid for this. As you saw, still has that gorgeous Jimmy Choo Man atomizer. This is going to be highly underrated for most people. This is a superior fragrance to Jimmy Choo Man Ice, in my opinion. Though that one smells incredible, this one performs a little bit better. And around the six hour range, roughly, is what I get on my skin. It just smells delightful. It's not breaking any molds, but it's damn sure good for summer. So get your nose on this one if you haven't yet. It's Jimmy Choo Man Aqua. Next, I have all four of the fragrances in this line, and this is hands down my favorite. If you're a fan of aldehydic openings, you should really try Tusman Sport. So I just recently got this one, just started spending some time with it. Big fan. It's very much a bright, almost lemon-lime sprite type of opening because the aldehyde is so bright and fizzy and kind of carbonated smelling with some citrus very watery feel it's more fruity sweet than anything else mega fresh and super invigorating this is my favorite in the line the chill flanker is really good i like the original not a huge fan of the intense so far but the sport flanker this is my jam very much a light blue fragrance but like i said very full of aldehydes if you're a fan of bright aldehydes in the top of a fresh fragrance this is one that you don't want to miss and you can get it really cheap i paid like 25 bucks for a tester on eBay, roughly, I'll try to have links down below for all 20 of these fragrances. Performance is in that average realm. Most of these aren't going to be beastly. Some perform a little better. We'll touch on it briefly as we go through them. But, you know, five, six hour type of thing on my skin. Average stuff. Just the scent. It's mainly the scent for me that does it. Hands down, the best in the line, in my opinion. Really worth trying. And it's Toos Man Sport. One that I have just fallen for recently, I picked up Raw Stress for Less, I see it at Burlington, you can find them from Fragrance Buy, in the $20 to $30 range depending on bottle size. It's really hard to beat if you like creamy white florals and bright citrus, we're talking about CK All from Calvin Klein. Some of you that watch this channel on a regular basis, or pretty often at least, have seen me talk about this one recently. I'm a big fan, it's been pretty much at least once a week since I got it, I've been wearing it some weeks multiple times. It's great casually, it's great lounging around out the shower, it's a great refresher, it's a good gym fragrance. It's a slightly below average performance, but like four to five hours longevity, but here's the thing. It smells like a deeper, richer CK1 summer flanker because it's got all of that citrus and brightness that you expect from the summer flankers with a little bit more depth, freesia, jasmine, stuff like that, some creamy white florals, kind of ground the scent, give it a little bit deeper, richer character, and help it hold a bit longer on the skin. So typically get two to three hours out of those where I get four to five hours out of this. Same price point, it's hard not to like. Very unisex, I don't find it really leans all that feminine considering it's got a floral core and heart, but it's good stuff underappreciated I've kind of been hyping it up here lately because I've been digging it check it out this summer it's a great cheapie CK all juicy bitter citrus watery notes aromatics and earthy smoky vetiver quality too for $30 or less depending on if you get a full presentation or a tester box which still comes with the cap this is Lalique Ancre Noir Sport 
my favorite version of Ancre Noir. I do have the Alex Strim. The original, believe it or not, is my least favorite, though still a very good fragrance. Uh, you can get this one in $25, $30 range. Performance is above average for me. I've seen people say they get three or four hours. I really get like six or seven, even in the eight hour range, depending on, you know, kind of the setting and situation, but at least six hours every time I've worn it. I'm a big fan of this one. I was nervous about it at first. God, that juicy bergamot. It, it's such a believable, bright, fresh cut, biting into a bergamot type of smell. The rind of the bergamot even. Just the quality here is just unparalleled for the price point. Like, I'm not going to sit here and call it a niche level quality, but it damn sure doesn't smell like a fragrance you can get for $30 or less. Let's just call it what it is. And performance is the same thing. Um, I think this is... it. At one time, it had plenty of love, but the love and the hype kind of killed over over the last few years, and I'm here to tell you, it's still just as good as you ever heard it was. If you haven't tried this one yet, you should definitely look into it. The reason I was kind of nervous about this one at first, because... There was kind of an iffy situation with me and vetivers most of the time, but boy, I was missing out for a long time because this, this is one of the best cheap summer fragrances. Point, period, end of story. Lalique Ancre Noir Sport. Now, I'm a big fan of Jean-Paul Gaultier's Le Beau Eau de Toilette. Problem is, it doesn't fit into this video because it's not going to fall into this price bracket, sub $50, but one that does the exact same thing. It's the exact same fragrance. It's the same scent profile. They locked it down. This is from Kahila. This is called Platinum. I actually did a full review on this one. This is spot on. Bergamot, coconut, tonka bean. Same performance. Six to eight hour range is what I get with this. Just like I do La Boat Eau de Toilette. It's the same scent profile. <laughs> it just makes me happy to smell this one. This is such a good fragrance. It's an 80 ml, strange bottle size, but interesting bottle nonetheless. And that's a hefty cap. And those spikes, the mane on the hair of the horse head, you're going to hurt somebody with that. It's it's hefty. And this is not really super sharp, but I mean, hard enough, it'll be painful. Very blunt force. Like I said, quality build here with the bottle, but the scent profile is really, really good. They locked it down. It's pretty much a carbon copy of Jean Paul Gaultier's Le Beau. So technically, we're featuring a clone here. But it's the affordable way, the much more affordable way to smell like Le Beau. It fits in here because it's hard to not have a summer video at this point without Le Beau or Le Beau Le Parfum. It's just neither of those can fit into this price bracket. But a great substitute is absolutely this. Like I said, solid performer for me. The exact same scent profile. It's fresh. It's a little sweet and powdery, but very coconut tropical. If you like coconut scents, this is good stuff. And that's Kahila Platinum. Another channel favorite, very gin and tonic heavy, bright citruses, crisp and fresh spicy. We're talking about Vince Camuto Ohm. This one's been featured every summer since this channel started. Big fan of this one. It's my favorite Vince Camuto fragrance. Easily the best one out of all of them, in my opinion. Bright citrus and hefty gin smell. A lot of juniper gin smell going on here. Very watery, almost a, a bit aquatic the way the tonic water smell comes across. Musky, of course, there's a nice musky woodsy tone in the base, but it's overall gin and tonic, citrus, and spice is what you're mainly going to get from this one. Average performer, four, five, six hour range, depends on your skin. Typically five to six hours on for me. 50 mLs to 100 mLs, you're looking at 20 to 30 dollars. This is easily one of the all-time greats in my collection when it comes to summer cheapies. That's why it's been featured at least once, usually more than that, every single summer for this is the fourth summer that I'm featuring fragrances on YouTube. And this is one that if you haven't tried it by now, if you've been watching me for a long time, you haven't tried it by now, what the hell are you waiting for? This is good stuff. If you like gin and tonic smell in fragrances, this is one of the best ones. Really is. And it's super cheap. Really works out. Definitely check it out this summer. Vince Camuto Ohm. From a longtime channel favorite to a new acquisition that the more I do test sprays with this one, and I'm actually going to do it right now, the more I enjoy it. It is the newest flanker in the Tommy Bahama Maritime line. This is Maritime Voyage. A, love the color scheme. Of course, the bottles are great with that cleat with the rope on it. Very nautical theme. But here you get that sour citrus of the star fruit, that carambola note, other zesty citruses. It's very tropical. It dries down a little creamy. It's not super aquatic, but there's a little bit of a watery, fresh feel to this one. 
Average performance at best, four to six hour range. They are eau de cologne EDC concentrations, but they typically last. Most Tommy Bahama fragrances last more than traditional eau de colognes do. Typically, you're only supposed to get like two or three hours out of an eau de cologne. And some people do get that out of these fragrances. I get everywhere from three to six hours, depending on the fragrance. This one kind of falls in that four or five hour range. I'm good with that. You can get it for in the 30 some odd dollar to $40 price point because it's the newest flanker. 125 ml. You don't have to spray it too heavy, but it's very inoffensive and easy to like. And it's not super generic. It's, it's a fresh fragrance. It's got a tropical feel to it, but it doesn't smell like all of them or a bunch of them out there because there's a ton of them. There's 20 of them in this, in this video in particular. But this is one that I would encourage you to try. If you have a Tommy Bahama store near you at a mall, an outlet mall, whatever, go check out the tester. Try this one on your skin. This one impressed me. It wasn't even my favorite of the two newest ones that I have when I got it because I tried them on paper. This and Triumph tried them on paper. Triumph smelled better on paper. Then when I got it on skin, Maritime Voyage is the superior one. Definitely one I'm going to be reaching for this summer that I encourage you to get your nose on. Tommy Bahama Maritime Voyage. So here's another one that's new to the collection that I slept on for a long time. It came out around 2015, I believe. And I've been wanting it for years. I've put it in and out of so many different online carts in the last five or six years. It's unbelievable. Finally secured a 50 ml. So glad I did. Mid to low 20s. We'll get you a 50 ml of Azaro Chrome Intense. This is better than Azaro Chrome to me. And I, it's an all-time, Chrome's an all-time great. The reason I say that is it's not as metallic. It's more spicy, musky, but still immensely watery and fresh at the same time. A little salty even. This is good stuff. Man, I don't know why more people don't talk about this, don't wear this. It's really good. Now, I don't think it's better than Aqua and extreme personally but it's up there with the eau de parfum for me this is some good stuff very much a bright fresh summertime fragrance with some solid performance six to eight hour range and longevity on my skin um, this is a joy to wear you don't need a ton of sprays it can actually be a little too much if you spray this one on the heavier side i would say moderate sprays at most five to seven range and it's gonna it's gonna really grab some attention in the five to seven spray range at least on my skin maybe you need less maybe you need more maybe the same will work sprays as a trial and error thing depending on your skin and your situation you're going to be in but for me this one's fantastic in the five to seven spray range like i said superior across the board in every way to the original chrome in my opinion get your nose on this one cesaro chrome intense i just got this one a few days ago and i was about to put hugo reversed in here and i said you know what we're going to put hugo reflective edition instead i think the addition of the green feel to this gives it a little bit deeper character than just grapefruit and vetiver from reversed though i do love reversed hugo reversed is fan damn tastic this it's pretty damn good super redundant if you have hugo reversed though it's hugo reversed with like cypress or something like that like this minty green fresh feel um it's really good though i gotta say it's popping up at the rack stores it's available from discounters online it's one of the newer fragrances so it's pretty easy to get at this point um, that's why I, I was really torn with this and Hugo reversed. I knew I wanted to feature one of them. The thought popped in my head for Hugo now as well. All of, all of them are really good summer cheapies, but I felt like this one provides a little bit, just a slight touch more depth than reversed. I mean, that's basically why it won out over reversed. They're kind of neck and neck for me. You're good either way. So take this with a grain of salt. Obviously your taste you may feel a little bit differently, but it's one I'm going to be reaching for to spend more time with this summer. And if you see this one out at the rack store, it's 25 bucks for a 75 ml like I grabbed, or you want to grab it for 30 bucks or less in, in the link in the description, something along those lines, $30, $40, depends on the bottle size, 4.2 ounce, I think, in the 30 some odd dollar range. But if it sounds interesting to you and you want to pick it up, pick it up. It's solid. It's a safe blind buy, and it's actually going to be really good for this summer. And that's Hugo Reflective Edition. No secret that I'm a fan of Invictus Aqua. And this, this is Invictus Aqua with a soft leather note in the dry down. That's pretty much what it is. And you can get it for like 17 or 18 bucks. It's Antonio Banderas, King of Seduction, Absolute. This is really good, guys. Not winning any performance awards. Don't get me wrong. <sighs> Boy, but it could win some cheapy scent profile awards. Because this one smells really good. Citrus, a little fruity, very watery, aquatic. 
a touch of powder. Very clean, musky scent profile. A little bit of a shower gel feel to it, but more fruity sweet to not completely be a shower gel scent with that soft, little bit of leather tone. It's got this leather accord in the dry down with that clean musk. This is good stuff. This is my favorite Antonio Banderas fragrance. Um, a close second would be Radiant Seduction in Black. I just got that one. That's really good. And I know some of you are going to say, oh, what about Blue Seduction? Blue Seduction's great. That could have went here as well, but I wanted to be a little bit different. You know what I mean? Because the Invictus Aqua Scent Profile is my favorite scent profile all time. And this one takes that and makes it its own in some ways by adding a little bit of leather and stuff like that. Slightly below average performance. Nothing spectacular here. Three to six hours is what you can expect depending on your skin. It's been kind of four to five hours range so far on my skin. Cool with that, especially for the price point. It's really hard to complain, but it smells really damn good. And that's Antonio Banderas, King of Seduction, absolute. So speaking of Invictus Aqua, that has crept up greatly in price a lot of places. So if you want to get it on the cheap, get a 4.2 ounce bottle. Literally, the difference here is instead of powdery violet, it's got soapy lavender. Halloween man hero. Performs about the same, six, seven, eight hours longevity. Just as bright, just as fresh. Grapefruit, creamy, juicy citrus. Very watery and aquatic. Like I said, it's soapy lavender instead of powdery violet, like Invictus Aqua 2018. Specifically, Invictus Aqua 2018 is the scent we're talking about here. A little bubble gum. Oh man, it's playful, it's youthful. Smells damn good. And you can get a 4.2 ounce for 30 some odd bucks and it's like 85% Invictus Aqua 2018. The biggest difference is the substitute of lavender. It's really that simplistic. It is good stuff. This is a really, really good fragrance. I'm glad to have it. Did a full review, I don't know, year and a half, two years ago, something like that. And I'm definitely gonna be reaching for it this summer. I'm gonna reach for Invictus Aqua 2018 as well. Don't get me wrong. But this one smells really good and deserves some praise, hence why we're featuring it today. It's Invictus Aqua 2018 on the cheap. It's Halloween Man Hero. $15 to $20 will get you one of the best pineapple woods fragrances I've ever smelled. This is from Latafa. This is Kate Alpha Sun. Beautiful spicy saffron. Gives a little hint of Baccarat Rouge 540 to it, but it's more of a ripe pineapple smell with a nice woody backbone. Very woodsy fragrance. Oh, this smells so good. We're going to put that in the air again man this is one of the best blind buys of all time cheap blind buys anyways so good so good i was put on this one by a friend shout out to my man need long time ago at this point months ago finally got around to getting it a few months ago which is still sooner than when i heard about it obviously but performance is kind of average i did a full review on this one as well um even slightly above. Six, seven hours, solid. Every time I wear it, very tropical, but a little different, a little bit of a twist. Like I said, spicy saffron, strong woody backbone, but very ripe pineapple. There's other citruses supporting it, but that is the dominating note here. And like I said, it's one of the greatest sub $20 blind buys I've ever made easily. And I encourage you, screw it, blind buy it. Try this thing out. This is good stuff. And that's Latafa, Kate Alfasan. So I had to feature this one because my wife's such a big fan of it. And you can find it at rack stores for 15 bucks. You can get it online for around 15, you know, 17, 18, 20, 22, stuff like that. It is probably the most popular fragrance from Penguin. This is Penguin Premium Blend. My wife is a humongous fan of this one. Very green, minty, watery, and musky. It's pretty much all you're going to get. There's, uh, there's a bunch of no notes creating these accords, but that's... That's the gist of it. It's simple. It's super enjoyable. It's super cheap. It doesn't last really long, like three hours, roughly, three to four hours. You just reapply. Get about an hour projections, just reapply. You can spray it heavy if you want. It doesn't get too cloying and overwhelming. It's bright, fresh. It's super charismatic and inviting. For my wife, it pulls her in. Big, big fan of this one. Had to feature it. Had to feature it, been wearing it sporadically here and there to go to the gym, out the shower, and so on. But if you're the type that's not wanting to spend a lot of money, you, you see it, you run across it for 15 or 20 bucks, and you're like, eh, screw it, I'm going to grab it, you could do a lot worse. I've bought much worse fragrances in the price bracket of this one. This is a great little gem. It's underappreciated in some ways, but it's also kind of like a cult classic type of popularity. 
among the cheapy enthusiasts here in the fragrance community. Definitely a good one for the summer. Penguin Premium Blend. We're back to some tropical pineapple action. This smells like pineapple slices that you're pulling out of an ice chest by the beach. This is Authenticity Perfumes Summer Vibes 4.0. There's a frosted mint type of feel to this. It's like iced pineapple, basically. There's watery aquatic notes that kind of enhance the juiciness of the pineapple here. It's a 50% all concentration. Longevity is not going to be an issue. It's bright. There's a clean musk as it dries down. This is so good, they're not putting out a 5.0 this year. They're giving this one another summer. Because this is the fourth version of Summer Vibes. I have all four versions. I talked to the owner the other day, Sonny, because I mentioned in a video, who knows, they might do a 5.0 this year. He said, nope, this is so popular, he's just going to do another batch and let this one have another summer of fun, if you will. Because this was the most popular, most sold fragrance he's ever made for good reason because if you like pineapple it's straight up like spraying frosted frozen pineapple juice all over your skin that may not sound great to some of you but to some of you you're licking your chops it sounds great because guess what it is great definitely check it out if you can summer vibes 4.0 so i just did a full review on this one i've worn it a bunch of times i've worn it to the gym out the shower casually it's not winning performance awards but boy you want to talk about bright fresh juicy citrus metallic it's fresher than what it's a clone of. This is from Paris Corner. This is Amir Trillium. This is a clone of Elysium Parfum Cologne, as you may have guessed based on looking at the bottle. And no, I haven't tried Fragrance World Imperium. I've been asked that more in the last week than any other question. <laughs> I'm going to get it, though. You guys clearly want to hear my thoughts and see which one's better. But in the moment, I haven't smelled that one, so I don't know if it's any better than this. But this is fantastic. At the recording of this... I'm having a real good love affair with the scent. <sighs> Juicy grapefruit, metallic tone, bitter fruit from the black currant. There's other citruses. There's thyme. There's florals. You get the woodiness. You get the clean musk. Super inviting. Easy to like. Wife's a big fan of this one as well. I'm a big fan of this one. I've been enjoying it. You just got to refresh. I get three to four hours at best. Hour projection. You just refresh. It's that simple. And enjoy. This is so fresh that I'm not surprised that I don't get beast mode performance out of it. It is just too airy and breezy of a fragrance. But boy, is it attractive. This is beautiful stuff. If you like metallic citrus, whew, you need to try this one. This is the jam. This one's that good for sure. I've been told a month or so of maceration can do it some good. Probably so. Every fragrance, as it sits a little bit, strengthens up a little bit. Because once you start spraying them, now there's oxygen and that stem has been atomized. You're going to start losing perfumer's alcohol over time. So yeah, you're going to lose perfumer's alcohol and the scent strength's going to increase because it's going to be more and more oil versus perfumer's alcohol. So maceration, I'm sure, will do this some justice and probably get a little bit more longevity out of it in the long run. But for right now... I'm cool with the performance I get from it because it just smells so damn good. And that's the most important thing to me. This summer, if you haven't tried this one yet, I think you really should. From Paris Corner, it's a mere trillion. Summer Channel favorite right here. This is great stuff. 4.2 ounce bottles, 75 mLs, 200 mLs, doesn't matter what you get. It's Cool Water meets Invictus Aqua. It's Davidoff Cool Water Wave. I love this fragrance. You're not going to get any performance awards out of this one either. Four to six hours, it's really like four to five hours for the most part. You can bathe in it. I always spray it pretty heavy. This is one I would advise spraying on the heavier side for sure. Enhance your sillage. It's got this beautiful spicy aquatic tone to it. The Sichuan pepper really jumps out. For being so watery and shower gel-esque, there's a warm spiciness from this Sichuan pepper. Nice juniper hit that gives it this crisp brightness. Not so much a gin smell, but more of a brightness. Like I said, crisp edge with the watery notes and a soft wood. It's not complicated. It's easy going. It's laid back. It's super easy to like. It's on the synthetic side, but it's cheap and it smells incredible. That's the only two things that really matter to me personally. If you haven't tried this one yet, you really should. Temper expectations and performance on most of these fragrances and just appreciate the scent profile for the price. And I think you'll be okay this summer. And this is definitely one you should give that chance. Davidoff, Cool Water Wave. Last year's summer release in the Calvin Klein Eternity line, we're talking about Summer Days. 
This is a solid fragrance that doesn't really get a lot of love. It's got this melon aquatic type of smell, um, very woodsy. It's on the synthetic side. It's sharp, don't get me wrong. A little herbal feel to it at its core, which would tie it into the Eternity DNA, obviously. Performance is average. I get about six hours on this one. This one's a solid performer. And because it's been out for a while now, it's hit discounters, and it's $20 to $30 price point. It's a solid summer fragrance. It's not the most original thing in the world, but it's definitely a, a proper summer flanker to Eternity. Like I said, I get that herbal feel at its core, that herbaceous greenery that ties it to the original Eternity. I think it's actually very well done, believe it or not. Uh, even though it's, I believe it's this Calypso note is where you get that watermelon watery feel from it. Very oceanic and aquatic, super synthetic. It's got a little bit of a chemically synthetic feel. It might be a little too harsh for you at first, but out in the air, I'm telling you, if you give this one a chance, you might end up really liking it. This might be a grower for you. You might need a wearing or two before you're like, wow, this is really good. Just give it a chance. Get out and try it if you can. Uh, it's fine for a blind buy if you're going to go that route. Just know that it is very synthetic at the top, but it really settles into something super enjoyable for the high heat if you give it a chance. Again, that's Calvin Klein Eternity Summer Days. It would be easy to feature Versace Mano Fresh right here because it's affordable enough from discounters, but let's get a little more performance out of it for 30 bucks, shall we? Let's go with Armoff or a Fresh. So this is carbon copy, same note breakdown, same scent profile. Wears a little heavier, it's not as bright, doesn't project as heavy as Mano Fresh. That's an Eau de Toilette. This is basically the Eau de Parfum take on Mano Fresh. It's the same thing. That sour, bright, citrus, watery, a little fresh and spicy, clean and musky. Beautiful, beautiful fragrance. I get about eight hours of longevity out of this one. Again, projection's not as heavy at first, but it lingers a little bit better because it's a higher oil concentration. It's a little bit cheaper, and it lasts about two hours longer on my skin, two to three hours, as compared to Mano Fresh. Again, we're back to, we have another clone in this video, but it's one that's worthy it's worthy. This is technically the third clone in the video, but it's a damn good one. It had to be featured. I felt it deserved a spot. It's easy to just say, go with Versace Mano Fresh, like I said, but what if I told you you could get more performance with the same scent, same quality, same scent, a few dollars cheaper. Now, drastically cheaper. If you want to just stick with Mano Fresh, hey, that's one of my favorite scent profiles ever, too. I say stick with Mano Fresh if you don't want to roll the dice on the clone. I get that, but our moth did a great job with this. They really did. The magnetic cap looks cool, but it is not It is not strong. It does not hold well. But interesting looking bottle, but a great smell with some really good performance. And it's I'm off or a fresh. One that you probably see every time you walk into a Ross Dress for Less. And you probably never thought twice about grabbing it. Because you can get 100 ml for like 15 bucks. You see 30 mls for 10. It is Paris Hilton for, him, for men. So this has this mountain air note. Weird, right? But it does add this airy, ozonic feel to it. It's very watery, cucumber-esque type of feel. Not quite polo blue, but in that vein of freshness for sure. This is so enjoyable. There's some fresh greens. Like I said, it has that cucumber smell. This is super easy to like and so easy to overlook, apparently. This is actually a nice little gem. Three to four hours, nothing special in performance. But like I said, you're going to spend like 15 bucks online, 15, 20 bucks range to get 100 ml. You can spray it heavy. You can keep it in your bag. You can go on vacation with it. You can go to work with it. You'll probably get a compliment or two, especially early in its, the life of it on your skin when it's at its strongest and people can smell you. This is a little on the unique side for being as fresh as it is. Typical fresh, light blue, fresh fragrance. They don't all smell like this one. You know what I mean? One of the better, I guess, best kept secret in some ways. People have seen it. People have heard of it. It just gets overlooked, I think, would be the best way to put it. Definitely check this one out. Next time you roll through Ross Dress for Less, or if you haven't been seen it at the rack stores, there'll be a link for you to grab it down below if you're interested. It's Paris Hilton for men. Last but not least, one of the best cheap blue fragrances to release in some time. I think, anyways. Off 9, 9 a.m. Dive. So this is kind of an amalgamation of a few different blue fragrances. You're going to get citrus. There's a little bit of spice from some ginger. It's ambery. There's an incense note. Of course, there's woods. It's a little watery. Performance is slightly above average. The quality here is better than you may think. I'm spraying that again. That is so good. 
got a little bit of blue de Chanel at the top, a little bit of YSL Y in the heart. From what I've been told, it's like Louis Vuitton's Afternoon Swim without the musk, somewhat. I've never smelled that, so I don't know. But I can tell you I definitely get like the grapefruit citrus smell of Blue de Chanel on the top, mixed with some YSL Y, a little bit of Dylan Blue because of the incense amber tie-in and that aquatic feel. It does have a little bit of an Embroxen smell, though I don't distinctively remember Embroxen in the notes. This is good stuff and can be had for around 35 bucks. 400 ml, six to eight hour range in longevity on my skin. Some may get worse, some may get better, but that's kind of a safe ballpark range is pretty much what I get on my skin. And in many ways, I saved one of the best for last. I'm not gonna sit here and say the best for last, but definitely one of. This is worthy. This is worthy. If you like blue fragrances, this is a very safe blind buy for a blue fragrance enthusiast, if you're anything like me. Again, that's Afnan, 9 a.m. Dive. Well, that is 20, 20 affordable cheap fragrances for summer for the year of 2023. And until next time, do me a real quick favor, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, because I do appreciate all the feedback and I love hearing from you guys. What of these 20 have you tried, have you added to your collection, or were passed for you? Which of these interested you? Very curious on you guys' thoughts. Definitely comment down below. And until next time, I will say if you get your hands on any of the 20 I featured in this video and you give them a spray now, you might end up thanking me later. Have a good one, guys. Thank you.